Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Chicken Police. Paint it red. We are back at the Clawville Police Department. Uh, we've got a couple of time-specific locations to check out, this being one of them, and the other one being the Hop Dog, I think. And then we're going to go to the Weekend House to meet uh, Natasha Katsenko. So let's talk to these guys. Are those two going to stand out here all night long? Apparently so, because we've been gone a while, I would imagine. I don't know, but I wouldn't put it past them. They're operating by some incomprehensible logic, at least for simple birds like us. I <laughs> wish we had the smarts to understand. Maybe one day, Marty. Maybe one day. God, I love the, the humor in it. Uh, right, it can we speak tonight, to them? Boys? Uneventful so far, Sonny. But now that you're love his voice. together again, I suppose we'll have some excitement to look forward to. What do you mean? Are you kidding? Last time you shot up a theater, and if I remember correctly, each other. <laughs> we need to know more about this story. That was a uh, complicated evening. I sure <laughs> complicated. All right. Well, that didn't yield any results, did it? Our old squad car that ended up in a swamp. Huh, I could never get over that. It was the best partner I ever had. Sounds like they've had some serious adventures, doesn't That's, it? That's, uh, good to know, boss. Truth hurts, pal. Never mind, I'll live with it. Alright, so we've looked at that. Um, seems like we can re-examine things, so I don't know if there's more we can learn by Why doing that. Why are we on this poster next to Blood Boil? Yeah. Because he hates us, Marty. It's probably that. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> well, I mean, we get more insight now that Marty's with us, so... Honor, strength, and unity. Pigs, ruffians, and vigilantes. <laughs> All right, well, let's see if we can find about these bullet holes, shall we? That wasn't us, right? Not that one, Marty. Yeah, honestly, sometimes I find it difficult to keep track of all the places we wrecked during our ten years together. You can see why they're famous, can't you? Just nine, Marty. Nine. Yeah, don't go jumping ahead of yourself. Right, okay, let's head in. So, we need to find out some more information. That's why we're here, isn't it? Find out more information about Natasha and Ibn before we go to the weekend house. So, uh, let's start with Monica. Do you remember Monica ever going on holiday? Honestly? I can't recall. Sometimes I can't decide if it's admirable or if I feel sorry for her. Maybe a bit of both. But is it selfish to say I'd be hurt if one day I didn't find her here? Yeah, I feel the same. That's all right then. Is it? So soon? That was fast. Almost a record. Sorry, Mon. We're just here for a little, uh, info. When yeah. are you not here for that, boys? How about wish me a happy birthday for a change? You, what? Is it your birthday today? We should have known that. Of course not. Don't be silly, Marty. Oh. You know exactly when it is. We've talked about it a dozen times. Yeah, Marty, what is it? Were you listening? Yeah, <laughs> of course I know. Come on, then. Tell us when it is. <clears throat> so, um, could you help us with this and that? Of course, boys, but be quick about it. I'm in over my head with paperwork and blood boils breathing down my neck. We'll be quick like a hurricane. Also, sorry if you can hear, like, banging or drilling going on. I think, obviously, because I've sat down to record this, my neighbours have decided to start doing some sort of decorating or something so it's always the way isn't it uh right okay so we can ask about a whole bunch of things so let's start with wesler who we met today in person mom you'll never king guess hector the third even better the one who commands the king wait a minute hobart wesler damn right that's the one hobart ibn wesler in the flesh wow and you're still alive that's quite an accomplishment. It is quite an accomplishment. Seriously, have you heard that he wants to get out of the black market business? Allegedly, he's trying to clear his name with some kind of new meat substitute. 
His name's gonna be rather difficult to clear. It's a heroic and impossible venture. I haven't heard about it, but it's an interesting addition to what I know. What do you know? Evan's been acting very strange lately, and he left most of his business dealings to one of his goons, Mickey. Also known as the Butcher, the Mongrel, and the Slayer. Yeah, hmm, we Mickey, once eh? had the pleasure of meeting him. That's all I know, boys. I know it's not very much, but it's something, I guess. I'll keep my ears open. It's not really anything we didn't know, is it? But never mind, we can ask about this list of names at least. Listen, Mon, a reliable old friend shoved this into my hand. Could you take a quick glance at it? Hmm. Quite an imposing list. What could those numbers mean? It could be a date even, but no, this is something else. That's what we were thinking too, and we got nowhere. But you see a lot of documents. So is there anything familiar about this? Unfortunately not, boys. The names are imposing indeed, but based on this, it could be almost anything. The richest of the rich get together on all kinds of excuses. Huh, it must be a secret yeah. cult. It could be, of course, but also anything else. I'm sorry I couldn't help you more. Ah, oh, that's alright. Thanks for your time. Or, wait a minute. There is something. Ah, what is it? Stop teasing us, Mon. I'm sure you've noticed that all the names in the list are men, right? Yeah, of course we noticed. Marty is literally the worst at lying. Uh, thanks for the observation, Monica. Don't mention it. I'm just a receptionist. It's a pretty astute observation, that is for sure. Uh, let's ask about Katzenko then. We saw a pretty good show at the Czar Club tonight. Good for you, I guess. Natasha? Uh -huh. Natasha. She performed a new song. She also sang about why she called us there. Or rather, me. And? That's confidential, Dollface. Anyway, I can't help wondering about that woman. Her past is a mystery. And I couldn't draw much out of her in person, either. Women like her always have something to hide, Sonny. I think that's exactly what makes men fall head over heels for them. Could play a part in it. I love the way that the glasses bounce on her beak when she moves her head. <laughs> it's a really nice little touch. I know another broad who's all mysterious. Oh yeah? What's her name? I'll look her up if we have a file on her. <laughs> oh, you mean me, right? Seriously, does Marty ever stop flirting with women in this game? Mysterious, full of secrets and grace. I didn't even hear that, Marty. Yeah, just ignore him. Uh, right, Olivia Blackwig. Do we have a file on a woman called Olivia Blackwig. She's currently working as Ibn Wessler's assistant. Hmm. We don't have a file on her, but there are a few Blackwigs that could be related to her. Mountain goat, crow, or caiman? Crow, around crow. 30 to 35. A very pretty socialite. Maybe we have a catch then. Theodore Blackwig was a rather influential banker until he went bankrupt. He died a few years back, but his daughter could have ended up in the same social circles as Eben. Ah. And since they lost their money, she took a job as his assistant. Interesting. Yeah, it would fit the picture. But it's a big city, Sonny. There may be more than one Crow family with a Blackwig name living here. Mm hmm. Thanks, Mon. I'm glad I could help, boys, as always. If it doesn't take a lot of my time, that is. <laughs> we know, we know. We're not even here anymore. Yeah, we're going. We've asked everything on the list, so... Uh, it's all good. Right, uh, Bosco... We can go back to the shooting range, maybe. Let's, um, let's speak to Bosco. Good old Bosco's slowly becoming the same piece of furniture we are. <laughs> sure. You remember when he was just a little green lap dog? For a while, we even had to babysit him. He always was a talented little pooch, I have to admit. But the filth that seeped into everything in Claw Hill has reached him, too. Uh, that's a shame. Everyone, one way or another, right? 
It always does in these last stories, though, doesn't it? One way or another, it does, Marty. Always does. Right, let's speak to him. Hey, big guy. Hey, Cox. What's up? Back here so soon? <laughs> Did you get nostalgic all of a sudden, Sonny? I'd rather be anywhere else than here, Bosco. But we're sniffing around on a case. Hoo hoo! Are you trespassing again? No. Us? What are you Obviously thinking? Obviously not. Ah, uh, just an old case. Still open. Not official, but not active either. We're not bothering anyone. You know, old habits die hard. I know, I know. I'm just messing with you. So, how can I help you? Got some questions for you, buddy. Uh, about Philmar Lowe. Do you still remember Philmar? Do you mean Philip? Of course I remember. He's got quite the reputation with that Philmar alias. We just met him. Small world, huh? Do you know what he's up to these days? As far as I know, he's investigating petty blackmail cases and sneaking after poor bastards cheating on their wives. Anything else? Did he get mixed up in something that stirred up a storm recently? Yeah, I don't know about that. We haven't seen him at the PD for a while. He's usually a frequent visitor. Why? Did he run into some fishy business again? Uh, I don't know. Possible, a little bit. But I'm not sure he'd want to make the same mistake. Wise decision. Uh, can you tell us about this list of names? Listen, Bosco. What do you make of this list? Maybe it's the guest list of some fancy ball. These are some rather influential names, the ones I recognize anyway. Movie stars, politicians, a few names from the Council of Twelve, even, if I'm not mistaken. What's the Council You're of not. Twelve? Oh, we got a codex entry are there. Are you blackmailing them? Because if you are, I'll gladly accept a nice big juicy bone in exchange for my silence. <laughs> Stop screwing around, Bosco. It has nothing to do with our case. Which is what exactly? Mm, Can't tell you that. Not tell you. Confidential information only reserved for the chicken police. Sorry, no dogs allowed. Uh, Natasha Katsenko. Listen, Bosco, what have you heard about that singer, Natasha Katsenko? <laughs> you mean that little bimbo fooling around with Ibn Wessler? They say she's the jackpot, but I've never been into cats, you know. You couldn't be more racist if you tried, Bosco. Yeah, Bosco. Huh, don't misunderstand me. I don't have a problem with cats at all. I'm simply allergic to them. I can't stand being around them. I don't even take cases with cats. That sounds a little bit like racism. You. I should have used that excuse myself. Why? Is your investigation related to her? Because... I seriously doubt you're allergic to cats. What? No, of course not. We we just came from her show. That's why I asked. Yeah, yeah, that's why that we asked. Like. Well, I guess your cat allergy would go away for the rest of your life if you met her. <laughs> <laughs> really? Uh, maybe I'll have a go and see for myself one day. I thought. Sorry, I thought you were allergic to cats. Uh, right. Okay. That seems to be all we can ask him about. But we did get a codex entry, didn't we? So let's uh, let's see if we can check that out. I always press the wrong button here. Uh, right, okay. What did we get then? Is it something in here? Meat substitutes. Oh, the Council of Twelve, maybe. Although Clawville is a monarchy, the actual power and jurisdiction, aside from the king, are in the hands of the Council of Twelve, or as most animals think, entirely, and the king himself is only a puppet and a symbol. The members of the council are the mightiest animals in the city after the king, employing not only politicians, but influential businessmen as well. This is starting to sound like a very dangerous thing to get involved in, to be quite honest with you. Um, can we... One of the seven female officers of the Clawville PD. Okay, we can't... 
Join the we look at any of this stuff? The crown. Serve the people. Get bribed. Get beaten by a hooker. Get fat. <laughs> Alright, so, um... Is there anything to look at in the shooting range, or... Is it literally just the gun again? Yeah, so it looks like we can play with that, but there's no one else here, so... I wonder if that was what we needed to do then. Let's, uh, I guess we head out now. So, oh yeah, look, I think, well, it could be because we're here. Ooh, a nice cup of coffee a la Zip, huh? We're not here for the coffee, Marty. Zip always knows more than what he lets on. It'd be worth interrogating the old trash panda. Stop if calling him a trash panda, jeez. Last time. He'll never forgive us, Marty, but we helped him out of trouble so many times, he's not going to have any choice. I hope you're right, old uh, <laughs> We'll see. Right, so we're back here again, so... I mean, let's head inside, I guess. Oh, jeez, boys. Out of 2,000 joints in the city, I had to end up here, huh? Yep, Hello we're back to again. you too, Zip. How's it hanging? I had no problems until now. Ah, oh, don't be such a drama queen. We just want to ask you a couple of questions, then we're out of here. And we won't even trash your place this time. What do you say? I say, let's yeah, get come on, buddy. Very, very quickly, chickens. Relax, pal. We'll be as fast as a hummingbird. I'm not your pal, and you're as far from a hummingbird as I'm from a polar bear. <laughs> oh, come on, Zip. Don't be so hard on yourself. Yeah, Zip. Ooh, we've got a new person here. Who appears to be... A gull? Or an albatross? Let's uh, have a look. What's the scribbler doing here? Scribbler? Sniffing some juicy story. I think I still owe him a great big left hook. Why ah. Do do this time? Oh, nothing. Just since I first met him, I wanted to punch him in the face. Now I can of course. understand that. Is he a journalist or something? Timothy. Hello, Timothy. Scribblers don't celebrate New Year's. Hello, boys. <laughs> what a pleasure to see you. Answering your question? No, not really. Not me, anyway. I'm always where the story. Mm -hmm. Oops. And where's the story now? Press the button by I mistake there. Sorry. <laughs> It just stepped through the door, pal. Oh, you mean us? Well, I think I'll have to disappoint you. The chicken police are back together? I, I can't let that go without an ink stain, am I right? No, yeah, you can. Timmy, you can. We're not working, we're just having a little fun, that's all. Mm, I'm not buying that, boys. We're just here for You'll coffee, you know? Tim. Eh, we'll see about that. All right, so who is this? Tim. We're unlocking a lot of these characters now, aren't we? Is Tim over the page? Yeah, he is. He is a seagull, okay. Loud, annoying, and overly enthusiastic, and unfortunately he is the number one fan of the chicken police. Brilliant. <laughs> okay, so um, we're going to have to speak to Tim, I guess, and maybe Zip, but we're going to do that in the next one because we're out of time. So uh, we're slowly putting the pieces together, finding out some more intel which can help us hopefully with uncovering what's going on with this Council of Twelve, which does not sound good, does it? Sounds like we might be getting into something quite deep and dangerous here, but we shall see. So as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, and Terminally Nerdy for all the support. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. It really helps YouTube push this video out to more people who'd like to watch it and join our little point-and-click community that we're building here. And I'll see you all next time.